SQL Sentry has a wealth of options when it comes to alerting and automated response around all kinds of conditions related to your Microsoft data platform. Out of the box, there are roughly 200 different conditions that SQL Sentry can watch for and respond to. And they go well beyond basic conditions such as job failures, long running queries, blocks and deadlocks, but often can contain complicated and or logic correlating multiple counters along with possible SQL query results into a single condition. The conditions that come out of the box with SQL Sentry uh, typically will also provide additional details explaining the importance of the condition, how it's detected, and links to further resources to appropriately troubleshoot that issue. Regardless of the type of condition, whether it's out of the box or one that you've created, there are many different automated responses that can be specified within SQL Sentry as well. Let me expand any one of these conditions to walk through the options that we have here. Send email is probably the most common response or action that's taken for a given condition when you want an email alert to, for any specified recipients based on that condition being detected. But you can see that SQL Sentry can execute a SQL agent job on any monitored server a SQL statement, an SNMP trap, or probably one of the most powerful, the execute PowerShell action that allows you to automate the execution of a PowerShell script based on any specified condition being detected. There are many options here that can allow you to pass these details on to other third-party systems, or especially with something like the PowerShell action, Given the, the proper condition, you might be able to automate the resolution with the PowerShell script and through SQL Sentry essentially make that problem become self-healing.